configuration and installation you have what you have to do you have to install the jdk in your system so jdk is used for the java language and it is having all the compiler and the runtime environment for you where you can run your java code and it will give you the output so you have to set up the java in your system and if you're working on the windows so definitely you have to download and install the windows uh, i mean java for jdk for the windows if you have on linux you have to download for the linux system so there are two ways to install the jdk in your system one is with the help of a dot exe file and one is you can download the zip folder okay one you can download with the help of a zip folder and you can just unzip the folder and you can give the path in your environment variable and you can use start using the java for that so let's see one by one for the dot exe file so we have to search this java jdk download in the google and this link will be open just open the link and uh, it will open the page for the download space where all the different versions will be available for your jdk and i will prefer to use the java jdk version either 11 or the 17 you should use either 11 or a 17 you should use so why you should use 11 or 17 there is a reason that i am saying because when you will be using the jenkins and other things devops things for your project so there is a requirement that uh, either you can use the 11 or a 17 so that's why i prefer to use the 17 so you have to click on java 17 uh, rahul can we install now parallelly with you you can install you can install not an issue yeah can you share the link in the chat uh, yeah sure even i will give you this document also that's not an issue you can follow every steps i have mentioned in the document yes please no. Yeah, I will share that also. So you can go to this link and uh, you can go on Java 17. After that, you will see different operating system will be there. If you are working on a Linux, you can download the specific version for Linux. Mac also is there and Windows also is there. For us, it is a window and you can see there is a zip folder and there is a bin also. So you can download the zip folder from here and you can put in any folder and you can do the unzip and you can give the bin folder path in your environment variable it will be working for you let's see for the bin one so we have to click on this uh, bin uh, this dot exe file click on it download and downloading will be start for you okay and uh, let's see i think i have already downloaded also but uh, still let's see if i have jdk i have this 18 i think here let's let download rahul what is the latest version you are using in your like company current right now no see latest don't use the latest i am preferring you use the java 17. okay you are also using the seven version 17 in your company yes. right now yes java 17. i will i'm telling you the reason see 19 is the latest is there if you will see JDK 19 will receive an update until March 2023. This is the latest one. Okay. I am saying Java 17 because when you will use the Jenkins, na? so in Jenkins, there is a requirement. Either you have to hmm. use the Java 11 or a Java 17. If you will use Java 19, you will not be able to configure and run the Jenkins. Okay. 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 So, but you have to use Java 17 so if you will use java 17 you can achieve it okay okay, okay? thank you yeah. so once this file is getting download simply what you have to do you have to click double click on the file click on a yes and you don't have to do nothing just you have to click on the next 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 and it will install the java 17 on your system just click on in next again so this is the by default path it will take where it is getting installed it is getting installed in this particular program files for you if you want to change the folder path that i want to install in some another folder i don't want to install in this path so even you can click on a change and you can select the folder where you want to install your java even you can do that 
okay let's do is install in the by default click on the next and it will start installing for you and in the last it will show you the uh, one thing that installation is successful like this it will show in the last java is successfully installed you have to click on a close are you doing with me or uh, we will do it yeah the rahul last? after downloading uh, have you extracted the zip file i have downloaded dot exe file not the zip file this time dot uh, dot bin uh, the second okay bin dot exe second one no? second one right bin dot okay, exe okay. Uh, mm -hmm. download this and this is the installation one so once you will do you can see my screen it is saying java successfully installed after that you have to click on a close like in the document also i mentioned once you will do it will be a uh, close now you have to come on the edit variable you have to search edit environment variable for your account once you will click come to the system variables and here in system variables come on the path once you will select this path click on this I need to open the edit one. Always open can, the edit. Can you please wait, Rahul, for one? Okay. After installation, what we have to do? Oh, installation is done successfully. Yeah. Okay. So now you have to search in the window with edit environment variables. Okay. And just open the yeah. click on edit environment variable. Now you have to go in the system variables. In the system variable, you will find the path like a with the name of a path. You have to edit it. Okay, I have mentioned the steps here. You can see it because I have already done. So I click on edit environment system variable. In the system variable, you can see this path. System variable. Right? In the system yeah. variables, you can see a path is there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, click on edit for that. Okay. And once you will click on edit, it will look like this for you. Variable name, variable. You can see my screen. Yes. When I'm selecting the path, right, this edit option is uh, not enabled, uh, Rahul. Maybe run as a administrator. Okay, okay. Sometimes it don't work, but uh, you can uh, write it. If it is not enabled, maybe by default it will add also, not an issue. Okay, okay. See, once uh, check this folder, do you have this folder? Uh, go to the program files, common files, system, uh, not the system, or Eccle one should be there. Do you have this folder? Uh, program files, common files, Oracle, Java. Just a minute. Program files. Common files. Yeah. Oracle. Oracle. Java. Yeah, Java. Right. Yes. 
so by yeah. default also it will set a path if you click on this okay. first one java path it will open the uh, folder that is having java compiler and everything for you yes 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 okay so that i will yeah. if you will see in the environment variable you will find it you can see uh, click on edit and you will find this path program files common files in the environment variable itself okay okay if you don't have you can add it or you can add the bin path folder also you can see in my screen this is the path that i have given java jdk 17 and bin you can given that path also you are not able to edit uh, your environment variable yeah just uh, see like search yes environment i have just got it now you can see i have searched edit you can find this edit environment variable for your account yeah click on this uh not this one i think see yeah yeah same this one i got yeah but uh, let me search i was getting right now uh, once it is op opening that one uh, that uh, window yes or no at the time it is showing see yeah second one i am when i am clicking on second one na uh, this one uh, edit, edit the system, system environment. environment variable search for edit the system environment variable edit the system environment yes click on this it will ask a window yes or no click on a yes no uh it is showing me the system properties uh no 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 uh, share your screen yeah Yes, I can see the screen. Okay. See. Go to Windows and search for edit the system. This one, right? Edit the system environment variables. Uh, I can't see that particular window. I think still I am representing or what? No. You're not able to see my screen. I can see the screen, but it's it's an uh, like a browser is there for me. Just a minute, I'll share again. Yes, I can see it. Uh, click on the first one here. Edit the system environment variable. Click on environment variable. Um, uh click okay. on the path path click on edit see first one is already added that program files oracle java java path by default uh -huh. it will get add for you okay. okay and still if you want to add you can add the path till the bin folder okay now open the window explorer go to the program files there open yeah go to the c drive where you have installed it uh not this one uh yeah here you can find java yeah, yeah same same open this java open this jdk 17 click on this bin folder click on bin folder take the take this path from there yeah copy this go to the environment variable uh, click on new click on new enter it here enter it click on it, okay Yeah, click on OK. Done. Yeah, it's done. I think OK. Yeah, click on OK here also. Click on OK again. Now open the command prompt. Open the command prompt. CMD. Yes, open it. 
now if you want to verify that java is properly installed or not you have to write down java write down java space hyphen give hyphen like minus sign version write down here version click on enter you can see java version 17 is there it is successfully yeah. installed in your system okay okay, okay? so everyone yeah. can follow the same step it is very easy to set up a java for you in your system now this is done we can see the eclipse so next step is our for the eclipse how we can set up the eclipse in our system mm. okay let me share my screen mm. my screen is visible no rahul uh, okay Mm. And let me see again. I will share it again. Let me know. My screen is visible now. Yes. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So these are the same steps I have mentioned in the document. And I can share that also, and you can also follow the same steps for the future. So same steps I have mentioned that how to install the Java. I have mentioned every small steps here, and you can do that. And if you want to do with the help of a zip folder, you have to just download the zip folder. You have you don't have to uninstall it. You just have to unzip the folder, and you have to put the bin path, you no, know, till in the environment variable. That's it. If you will do that, you will be able to uh, uh, set up the java in your system okay. okay the next things comes to the installing of the eclipse so java we have what is the next thing so next thing is we should have the eclipse or the net bins because net bins is also there uh, to work on the java so but we will be talking about the eclipse because most in the most of the company you will see eclipse will be mostly will be used it's a big tool and it's quite a good features okay so we have to use the eclipse so there are also two ways nowadays for the eclipse one is the exe file another one is the zip folder zip folder you have to unzip and place in the some particular folder and you can start using it but for the manual exe file you have to do the installation so but i will recommend to use the package zip folder this is useful because uh, in some of the company there are some restrictions that you can't install the exe file so in that case we have to use the zip folder because of the security feature if you are working on the aws machine they will not uh, allow you to install the exe file there because of the security reasons and we have to use the zip folder there and zip folder is i think good because if sometime in future you will face any challenge na, just simply uh, you can uh, unzip the another package and you can start using even that also okay so you have to search eclipse download in the google every small steps is there in the document it will open this url and uh, you have to go to this url for the downloads and in the downloads you can see java eclipse id is there so there are two ways as i was telling that you can download it with the help of a .exe file also you can download the zip package if you want to download the .exe file then you can click on this download button it will download for you if you want to download the zip package in that case you can click on the download packages once you will click on the download packages there are multiple versions of eclipse that has been released in the market from the starting so you must have seen there's different type of IDs, Eclipse ID for Java developers, for this enterprise Java, C, C++ developer, Eclipse Commissioner is there, right? Eclipse ID for Java, DSL, multiple versions has been released in the market for the Eclipse. So based on the requirement you can use, but I always recommend, see Java mostly used for the developers, but I will recommend to use this uh, Eclipse ID for eclipse committers so you have to use this package based on the operating system like it is a mac or a linux or a windows you can just click on that and you can start downloading it so you have to click on this particular uh, link once you will click on this link it will start downloading for you 
automatically it will start now i think you need to click on again on this one yeah once you will click it will start downloading for you it's a free tool right it is not asking for anything like that yes. and you can see it is start downloading for you i have already downloaded so i am not going to download it again okay let's click on cancel i will show you what you have to do the next step once you will download it like in the software this is the uh, commenter one that i have downloaded the same one just right click on it just do the extract extract all or 7g whatever you have just you have to click on extract to this folder once you will do the extract it will look like this folder eclipse commenter just open it again double click you will find the eclipse id name there eclipse you don't have to do any installation or nothing is there just you have to click on double click on this icon and you are ready to use the eclipse id in your system okay anyone is doing or uh, you will be doing the later i will be doing later uh -huh. uh, okay. because i don't have personal laptop i have company laptop so i can't do all these things right now okay yeah Even not having the level okay yeah but you can do definitely you can start from today because once yeah. we will be starting the uh, web driver selenium web driver you need to do the practice so in my first session i told do the maximum practice as much as you can do and buy yourself once you will do you will get the good confidence as well yes. so easily uh, you can see how easily i have explained about the installation of a java and eclipse there is nothing just you have to download and you have to set up one environment variable for eclipse just you have to download the zip file and you have to just open it that's it yes yes it's a easy process we will do it. yeah yeah you can do that so now once you will open this eclipse icon you can see it will show you the workspace so what workspace means workspace means to say uh, like when you are creating a project in your eclipse it will be storing some place at one folder right so what is that folder you want to uh, use to store that particular project so that you have to give it here that we call it as a workspace in eclipse if you will select any other folder you can select any other folder that i want to create in the d drive uh, under this folder so uh, project so you can give that particular path here and you can use it after that you have to click on a launch once you will click on a launch it will start opening the eclipse id for your system and you are ready to use the eclipse in your system now java we have already installed always you will see a welcome screen on the eclipse id whenever you will be opening it you can close this welcome id now you can see you are ready to create a java project from there okay so the installation part the same documents i have mentioned here all the steps are mentioned here what are the different steps are there what are the different ways are there right so if you will do with the help of a dot exe file in that case mm -hmm. when you are trying to install you will get you know these different options for your id to for the installation same steps i mentioned but simply what you can do you can download the zip folder you can follow this b option download the zip folder and just click on eclipse commenter unzip the folder and launch it it will ask for that so every steps is already mentioned there and you can click on a launch